Hello everyone and thanks for joining us here at Annex Dinner Table. My name is Cassandra and today we'll be unboxing Mountains of Madness, distributed by Yellow Games, created by Rob DeVoe, art by Rob DeVoe and Miguel Coimbra. In this three to five player cooperative adventure, you and your team have come across a seemingly impassable mountain. You must work together to discover the city hiding in the ice or lose your mind trying. We picked this game up at Total Access Games in Ashland, Virginia. The box is really nice. It's got this single path right down the middle. Um, it also has these really grand scale-wise man-made architecture pillars, which contrast nicely with the mountains. It's well designed in the art. Let's break it out of its plastic and see what's inside. The box has a really nice matte finish to it, other than the text and the logos on them, which are glossy in comparison. Let's open her up. First we have the rule book. Who? Heavy. It's only 16 pages though, so that just is really good paper quality, paper weight. Starting at the back. Seems like there's a lot of examples here explaining how to play it really well. And then we have setup. And then what came in the box. Okay. Then we have some punch outs. They definitely go with this game. They say the name right there. Mountains of Madness. Then we have the board. Ooh, very nice with this plastic insert. Everything has a nice place to start, but also to go back at the end. We have a timekeeper. Ooh, that's real nice. It's wood. We have some players here. So they all have their own picture, and each tells you what the turn consists of. Okay. Then we have a D6, but it has special things on it. It's got some question marks, some wounds, and a spirally circle. We have some tokens. A plane that's on a base. Flying upwards. It's real nice. And then we have some card type things, some cardboard, but we don't need to punch them out. Big fan of not having to punch everything out ourselves. Um, there are two different sizes, this smaller size, as well as this larger size. And then two decks of cards. Let's take a closer look. Okay, opening everything up, we had what looked like two decks initially. There is this deck, which is the largest, is the sled. It matches the sled on this punch out piece, which also has a nice card dotted line around it. So they're gonna go there. And then there's also these cards, which are very cool. They're madness cards, it almost seems, with 
this one starting you out with three circles on it and it's brighter with the greens in here. Moving down to this one, which only has two circles around it, and it got rid of some of that warmth of the green going to this blue. Ending here with this single circled one, and it's taken a lot of those brighter blues out and incorporated a lot more darkness and black. And then we have this one, it's just green, which has a symbol on it that almost looks like it's glowing. Let's look at some of the art on them. So this is line drawings, which are very nice, of very realistic, a radio compass, barometer. And these ones are don't really have a lot of art, but they kept with the blues on this side of this other deck. Look at these madness decks. Okay. So they have pretty much the same front as they do back, keeping with the three circles. And the color scheme. And then, yep, and this is the same. As is this one. Then we move to these tiles, which have four different location type things on them. The mountains, edge of madness, city, coast, and escape. The escape ones were those smaller pieces. That has some really nice art on it with the landscape photo of what looks like a tundra landscape. The city ones here also have a really nice landscape-like photo. This one is very reminiscent of the box with these tall pillars with some man-made symbols on them with a tall beam of light coming through the center. You have some edge of madness. Ooh, everything there looks like the cards from the sled. They've just gotten a little out of focus. The mountains. Some other landscapes. Very much keeping with the color scheme, I would say, all of these artworks with those greens and the blues juxtaposed to like brightness. And then these tokens, now that we can get a closer look at them, all are the same with this hammer pickaxe tool on them. They're made of plastic but they have weight of like poker chips. And the cutout, other cutouts, feel like they're supposed to be obscuring something with this text and a symbol that's crossed over, but very distorted. I definitely can't read anything that's here for the big ones and these four small ones and then crossing out of things here, the same things that are on the things, crates, weapons, tools, and books. Let's take a look at that board. The board is well laid out with organization and how you place everything. The spaces match the card backs. I don't have card backs that match these two Guess we'll have to figure out in the how to play what goes there. And then the tiles that we have fill in this mountain. But I definitely felt like I had more tiles than spaces, especially with 
the city and the edge of madness. So it seems like you're going to have some replayability there with pulling new tiles every single time that you play the game. Everything went back into the box very well as expected. Everything came out of this form-fitting divider and everything goes right back in. So the cards come here. They do have a little bit of room now that they're not wrapped to slide back and forth. And then the tiles go back in here. It was a little sad that the coast tiles had to be split in two where the city cards and the edge of madness cards had to be stacked together in order to make them fit. Then the escape cards have a little bit of room to fall around there either. Also, the cutout pieces go really nicely into this leftover slot. And then the bigger cutout along with the tile pieces go right on it with a board stacked nicely on top. Mountains of Madness, designed by Rob DeVoe. If you want to see how to play or a playthrough, please let us know in the comments. If you like what we're doing, hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you want reminders of our newest videos, hit the bell icon.